Um, it's different bread this time. It's called focaccia. I'm sure most of you know it. It's an Italian bread, which you get in restaurants quite often, uh, or I'm sure some of you might have tried it before. Um, it's typically, um, you know, really nice and a bit oily uh, and tastes of rosemary. Uh, my bread is slightly different. My recipe of focaccia, it's thicker and more moist and it's more Moorish really. It's really really nice bread. Um, it's always a great favorite at parties. Uh, it's a great party food really. If you want to feed a lot of people, make focaccia. It's really really easy as well. So I hope you give it a go uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So what ingredients do you need? Uh, it's again very simple. It's bread. So it's not rocket science. Um, so you need some white flour, some bread flour. Um, we'll use 800 grams of strong white bread flour. Uh, we'll also be using 200 grams of semolina, uh, which is similar, I guess, to polenta in a way. It's a maize type flour. It's really great and it gives the bread an amazing texture. Uh, and then we'll also need salt, of course, uh, one tablespoon. Um, enough olive oil, you just see during the video how much you need. You need to coat the dough into in the olive oil, but you also need to put it into the, into the dough. Uh, you'll also need yeast, of course. I'm using dried yeast as usual. Uh, you need enough yeast for one kilogram um, of flour, uh, so two sachets will be enough. And I also just picked some rosemary, which we'll put into the dough and over as well. So first we mix the dry ingredients. I've got yeast, salt, semolina and flour in here. Uh, so just mix it with a fork. And if you have any questions or if you wonder about just basic bread making, um, you can watch my other bread making video which is quite good just to see how basic bread is done and it explains all the steps uh, in more detail. Normally with focaccia, you just sprinkle a bit of rosemary on top, which is nice, but I really like the flavor of rosemary and I find the best way to get it into the dough is really well, just to mix it with oil. Um, you could just chop it finely, um, but I have a pestle and mortar here, so I will just crush it and mix it with the oil and then mix it into the dough. Just add a bit of oil. That should be about enough. So a few tablespoons, I don't know, two or three tablespoons. A bit more. Never hurts. This measure is really just by eye, but it just takes a bit of experience. Just try it out. And you will see what's the what's the best option for you. So now we're combining the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients. Uh, so there's about 650 ml of lukewarm water. It's really important that the water is not too warm or else it will kill the yeast. So it can't be like boiling or really hot. Uh, and here's our rosemary oil. So we'll just pour it in and mix it with a fork. That's what I always like to do. Now we add the oil. Oops, getting messy already. Go. Try to get all that goodness out of it. That's why I'm using the spatula. Try to get some of that oil everywhere. Mix it a bit more. After one or two minutes, you can just start using your hands. So now I'm starting to work the dough by hand, just putting some flour in my hands. And normally I start this process just using using one hand, so the other one doesn't get too dirty. Because now the dough is still pretty sticky. Just try to get most of that flour still on the dough. Mix it. You also want this dough to be a bit wetter than your usual or typical bread recipe because uh, that will really influence the flavor. If it's a bit wetter and that oil as well in the dough will just make it really nice and moist. Yeah, that looks as good as it can get. 
just take it out on the work surface. And just start working the dough. You don't have to work this dough too much because it's mostly uh, white flour. So there's a lot of gluten in it and it will rise very well and it's quite stretchy anyway. So just really five minutes or so should do the job just to get it together. There's no real, well, huge secret I find to kneading bread. Just try to get a rhythm. Uh, if the dough gets too wet for your fingers, maybe put some more flour on it. Just try to work it any way that you find is comfortable. I've been kneading the dough for five minutes now, which is really enough for this kind of bread. So now I'm just going to tuck it into a tight ball and put it into the bowl to let it rise. Um, again, just look at my other bread video if you want to um, know about just basic techniques for bread making. So just tuck it in, turn it around, and just try to get those edges inside so that it's a nice ball. I'll just put it in here again, sprinkle it with some flour, and put a tea towel over it, and let it just sit in there for about an hour. You want to give this a nice long fermentation so that the dough becomes really light and stretchy. And that's it. After an hour, our dough has doubled in size, as you can see. Um, and one reason why I also like making focaccia, the rest of well of the recipe is really simple. There's no extra kneading or shaping of the dough. It's really really easy. So you just need uh, one of these baking trays. Just put in some olive oil, just for the bottom. Just put it around. This. And then you just put the dough inside. Try to put it in gently. There you go. And then you just deflate it into the baking tray. You deflate just by poking your fingers into the dough so the gas that was created during you know the rising of the dough comes out. Try to get it as regular as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. That's great. Because it has to rise for a second time. And that will take about 20 minutes or maybe half an hour. So We'll check back after 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, the dough has risen. Not completely, like doubled in size, but it has risen and uh, we've preheated our oven to a well, maximum temperature of most ovens, so 250 degrees Celsius. And now I'm just going to sprinkle some of the rosemary on top. Just try to break it up in pieces a bit. Um, again, it doesn't have to look or be perfect, but just like nice. And then I'm also going to add some salt after that. Uh, you should really use rock salt, but because it tastes great and looks cool too. Um, but I don't have any at the moment, so I'm just using regular sea salt. But yeah, normally just use rock salt. There you go, that's about right. More here. Yeah, just some salt over it. Not too much though, because there's already salt in the dough. Just a light sprinkling. Okay, and uh, traditionally focaccia has these holes, so with just one finger, I'm gonna go into the dough and press it in as such. So that's gonna get a cool look. And then it's going to the oven. It's at 250 degrees Celsius um, for about 20 minutes or so. Just check on it after a while and see if it's ready. Um, and poke it with one of, well, either a toothpick or whatever you have, or a knife, and see if it's baked, if it's cooked through, and it's done. 
It's been a bit more than 20 minutes now, and uh, the bread is done, the focaccia is done. So, if you're looking, it's nice golden brown on top. And if you stick in a toothpick or a skewer for that, you can see it comes out clean. So, it's done. So I took out the focaccia and put it on a cooling rack for about half an hour so it cool, could cool down properly and it's still nice and warm and it has a lovely colour really uh, and you can see the small dents we put in with our fingers which is the traditional focaccia uh, shape and look. So uh, yeah, it's a really easy bread to make basically and it's amazing you know, for parties or for larger groups of people, so tasty and especially that semolina and white flour mix but also the rosemary and the olive oil in the dough really make this quite a different focaccia recipe so I hope you had to try it and I hope you enjoyed this video. Now how do you normally eat focaccia? Well you could basically eat it with anything like a normal bread but it's really great for dipping into olive oil and that's how it's served quite often. So I've got some nice olive oil here and you see it just really absorbs oil really well. Mm. 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 <laughs> that olive oil flavor and the rosemary is fantastic but I also love it with some hummus and by coincidence I have some amazing lemon and dill hummus here mm. 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 hummus and focaccia amazing Mm. You have to try this.